Hello students, welcome back to the site of resonance. Today we will going to start balanced and unbalanced forces. In previous classes and or previous lectures, we have discussed about force that force is an external push or pull acting on an object which tries to change or changes the state of rest or of uniform motion or changes its shape or direction. We have discussed about the SI unit of force which was Newton and the CGS unit of force which was Dyne. We have seen the relation between SI unit of force and CGS unit of force that is between Newton and Dyne and I know that 1 Newton is equal to 10 to the power 5 Dynes. We have also discussed the effect of forces that forces what effects can produce what effects can be produced when an object is having some force acting on it. So, we have discussed that the effects were first it can starts a stationary uh, object or it can move a stationary object like this is a stationary object as you can see and if I apply a force it will going to start moving. So, it can bring a stationary object in motion. Second we have seen that it can bring a moving object to rest it can bring a moving object to rest or it can decrease or increase the speed means it can increase the speed of a moving object. How? We have seen like if we are riding a bicycle and suddenly some animal came in front of us. So, we are going to apply brakes. If we have applied sudden brakes, so the cycle will going to stop. So, the cycle will going to stop means on application of force a moving object has come to halt or rest. If we are applying slow brakes, cycle will going to reduce its speed, cycle will going to reduce it, uh, reduce its speed means on application of force we can reduce the speed of a moving object. If we are going to start pedaling faster means we are applying force, it will going to increase the speed means force can change the speed of a moving object, it can stop some moving object, it can move the stationary object. Fourth point was that it can change its shape and size. It can change the shape and size of an object and we have seen like if we are having a spring on stretching the spring means on applying force on both, both the ends of the spring the shape of the spring will going to change. We have seen an example of rubber band also that on applying force on a rubber band it will going to change its shape. We have also seen that it can change the direction of a moving object. A force can change direction of a moving object. How? Like let us imagine we are playing a game of cricket and you are bowler. You have bowl a ball towards me and by application of force with help of my bat I have hit the ball on the off side. So, on first the direction of ball was towards me on applying force with help of bat towards off side the, fo uh, the direction of the moving ball has been changed towards the off side means on application of force you can also change the direction of a moving body. So, we have listed these 5 effects that a force can produce in an object. Now, moving forward let us have a discussion on balanced and unbalanced forces. Now, what are balanced and unbalanced forces? Let us see. In physics, in maximum cases, you will going to get the hint from the word only balanced force. Balanced means santulit. So, balanced forces ka matlab kya hoga? Let us take an example first. This is a box which is resting on a surface. Now, if we apply a force of let us say in this direction, if applying a force in this direction let us say of 5 Newton and then I am applying a force in this direction of let us say again 5 Newton. Will this box will going to change its state of rest? Pele box rest peta and on applying force of 5 Newton from both sides. On applying force of 5 Newton from this side and this side, will this box 
will going to change its state of rest will it no the answer is no the answer is no it will not going to change its state of rest ye pehle bhi rest pe tha aur baad mein bhi kya rahega rest pe for example this is the box and now i have applied 5 newton force from this side and 5 newton force from this side pehle bhi rest pe tha ab bhi rest pe means on application of n number of forces on an object if it does not change its state of rest or of uniform motion then all those forces are known as balanced forces i am repeating again when n number of forces acts on an object and it does not change any uh, and it does not bring any change in its state of rest or of uniform motion then such forces are known as balanced forces means these forces are balanced these forces are balanced 5 newton ne 5 newton ko kya kar diya hai balance kar diya hai to ye forces kya kehlayenge balanced forces agar body rest pe hai it will going to continue in rest and if a body is in motion it will going to continue sorry if the body is in uniform motion which type of motion uniform motion it will going to continue in uniform motion means there will be no change in state of rest or of uniform motion when n number of forces there are two forces in this case there can be n number of forces if n number of forces are acting upon an object and it cannot produce any change in state of rest or of uniform motion of the object then these forces will be known as nothing but balanced forces aisa forces ko kya bolunga main balanced forces bolunga ab iska example इसके एग्जाम्पल बहुत सारे हो सकते हैं सिंपल एग्जाम्पल लेट एस टेक वन सिंपल एग्जाम्पल आई एम होल्डिंग अ ब्रीफ केस इन माई हैंड इफ आई एम होल्डिंग अ ब्रीफ केस इन माई हैंड द स्टेट ऑफ रेस्ट ऑफ दिस ब्रीफ केस हैज नॉट बीन चेंज वो ब्रीफ केस अभी भी रेस्ट पे है पहले भी रेस्ट पे था और बाद में भी कहाँ रहेगा रेस्ट पे रहेगा मतलब इसकी स्टेट ऑफ रेस्ट में कोई चेंज नहीं आया जबकि मैंने इसमें फोर्स लगा रखा बिकॉज आई एम होल्डिंग इट सो आई हैव अप्लाइड सम फोर्स ऑन इट बट इट हैज नॉट चेंज द स्टेट ऑफ रेस्ट और ऑफ यूनिफॉर्म मोशन ऑफ दैट ऑब्जेक्ट अब कितना फोर्स लग रहा है अगर मैं उस ब्रीफ केस पे देखूँ लेट एस दिस इज अ ब्रीफ केस दिस इज अ ब्रीफ केस सो आई एम होल्डिंग अपवर्ड मीन्स आई एम एक्सर्टिंग अ फोर्स अपवर्ड दैट इज अ कॉन्टेक्ट फोर्स लेट एस एफ एच फोर्स ऑफ माई हैंड एंड देर इज अ फोर्स ऑफ ग्रेविटी विच इज एक्टिंग डाउनवर्ड विच इज अप्लाइड बाई अर्थ इट इज पुलिंग दिस ब्रीफ केस डाउनवर्ड्स So these two forces must be equal so that the body does not change its state of rest or of uniform motion. There is no change in the state of rest or of uniform motion of this brief case. ये एक live example अगर मैं एक brief case को अपने हाथ में hold कर रहा हूँ तो वो कैसे forces लग रहे हैं उसके ऊपर? उसके ऊपर जो भी forces हों कैसे? They are in balanced condition. They are balanced forces. जितना force मैंने ऊपर लगा उतना ही earth ने नीचे लगाया. तो ये जो brief case है वो state of rest जो इसकी थी वो change नहीं हुई. I hope you have understood about balanced forces. You are having a clear idea about balanced forces. I think so. Now let us move to the second one that are unbalanced forces. Again, let us take an example. Let us take an example of. This is a surface on which again a box is lying like this and I have applied a force of 10 Newton from this side and a force of 5 Newton from this side what will going to happen to this box 
means the force which is applied from this side is exceeding the force which is applied from that side means this box will going to start moving in this direction with certain acceleration because force will going to bring acceleration in the body that we have already discussed in our second lecture फोर्स लग रहा है तो बॉडी के अंदर क्या आता है एसिलेशन आता है जो हम डिस्कस कर चुके हैं अगर आपको कुछ बात याद हो तो आप इधर देखें एफ इक्वल्स टू एम ए हमने ऐसी कोई इक्वेशन पढ़ी थी या नहीं पढ़ी थी डेफिनेटली वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अपॉन दिस इक्वेशन इन आर सेकंड लेक्चर ऑफ दिस प्रोग्राम so m is mass a is the acceleration and f is f is the force and i have told you that on application of force there is an acceleration in the body body ke andar kya aa jata hai acceleration aa jata hai to agar main yahan dekhu ye maine force lagaya 10 newton ka aur idhar se lagaya 5 newton ka to this body as this side force is exceeding this side of force this body will going to start moving in this direction with certain amount of acceleration that i can calculate if the mass is given to me the mass of this box is given to me i will going to find out the resultant of these forces and i will going to put in that equation and i will going to find the acceleration but about resultant we have not discussed till yet i will going to discuss in the next topic that what are resultant forces for time being aapko itni physical feel aa rahi hogi ki agar ye box hai aur maine idhar se force lagaya 10 newton ka if i have applied a force of 10 newton and the force that has been applied from that side is 5 newton this box will going to start moving in this direction this box will going to start moving in this direction means the state of rest means the state of rest of this object has been changed on application of on application of force on application of forces so what are unbalanced forces these are unbalanced forces when an object when n number of forces are acting on an object and those forces can bring a change in state of rest or of uniform motion of that object then those forces are known as unbalanced forces dekh bhi raha hai force balance nahi hai either 10 newton or 5 newton unbalance create kar raha hai to this is known as unbalanced forces when and number of forces acting on an object brings a change in its state of rest or of uniform motion then the forces are unbalanced then the forces are unbalanced jab n number of forces ek body pe act kare such that wo forces us body ke state of rest ya uniform motion agar body rest pe to ho sakta hai wo body chalne lag jaye और अगर बॉडी यूनिफॉर्म मोशन से चल रही है तो हो सकता है वो बॉडी रुकने लग जाए या फिर उसकी स्पीड बढ़ जाए मतलब उसका यूनिफॉर्म मोशन किस में कन्वर्ट हो जाए नॉन यूनिफॉर्म मोशन में कन्वर्ट हो जाए तो जो सारे फोर्सेस हैं उनको मैं क्या बोलूंगा जो बॉडी पे लग रहे हैं अनबैलेंस फोर्स बोलूंगा यहाँ पे स्टेट ऑफ रेस्ट और ऑफ यूनिफॉर्म मोशन चेंज नहीं हो रहा था तो ऐसे फोर्सेज बैलेंस फोर्सेज थे लेकिन यहाँ पे स्टेट ऑफ रेस्ट और यूनिफॉर्म मोशन चेंज हो रहा है तो ऐसे फोर्सेज कैसे हैं अनबैलेंस फोर्सेज हैं ऐसे फोर्सेज कैसे हैं अनबैलेंस फोर्सेज हैं इसका एग्जाम्पल वी कैन टेक like if i am holding this marker at a height then the force of my hand and the force of gravity are balanced these are balanced forces but as soon as i will going to release this marker from my hand the force of my hand has been removed there is only one force acting on this body which is the force of gravity and that force is unbalanced because there is no other force which can balance this force so this 
state of rest of this marker at this point has been converted into a non uniform motion means the state of rest has been changed into a non uniform motion then the forces acting on that object will be known as unbalanced forces. I hope you have understood the concept of balanced and unbalanced forces. If there is a game of tug of war and there are four children standing at this side and three children standing at that side and if I said a child can exert a force of 5 Newton then at this side there are 4. So, they will going to exert a force of how many Newtons? 5 fours are 20 Newtons and they will going to apply a force of 15 Newtons because there are 3 students or children standing out uh, children standing at that side. So, each can apply a force of 5 Newton, 3 will going to apply a force of 15 Newton, here they will going to apply a force of 20 Newton means they will going to pull this rope at this side. The forces are unbalanced because they will going to change the state of this rope from rest to a non uniform motion means they are unbalanced forces. But if there are 4 children at this side there are 4 children at this side there are 4 child, uh, children and each are exerting a force of 5 Newton then here it will be 20 Newtons and here it will be 20 Newtons acting opposite acting in opposite direction they will going to balance each other and hence the rope will going to remain stationary it will going to remain at rest. Because the balanced forces cannot change the state of rest or of uniform motion but unbalanced forces will definitely going to change the state of rest or of uniform motion. I hope you have understood the concept of first balanced forces and second unbalanced forces. Now, let us move a step forward and have a discussion on resultant of forces or the resultant forces. resultant force. What we are going to see now is resultant force. Now, what is a resultant force? Let us have a look. Again, let us take an example like this. There is a box again resting on this surface like this and there are two force acting on this body. Let us say this is 15 Newton force and there is another force acting on this body let us say that is 5 Newton force. So, these are the two forces acting on this body. Now, again I have taken this same body, I have taken this same body, body is same. And I have applied a force of 10 Newton from this side. The effect produced in this body on application of these two, uh, two forces will it be same to the effect produced to this body by the single force? Will it be same or will it not be same? You have to feel it physically like if there are two forces acting on this body one is of 15 Newton from this side and one is of 5 Newton from this side and if the same body is taken and only a single force of 10 Newton has been applied from this side will the effects which are produced in these two bodies will be same or not. What do you think? Will it be same or not? I think it will be same. I think it will be same. So, what a resultant force is? Resultant force is a force, it is a force which will going to produce the same effect or change that has been produced
by n number of forces acting on that body. If n number of forces are acting on this body, then the effect that they, these n all together are producing on this body and if I replace all these forces with the single force and it is producing the same change or effect on this body, then that single force will be known as the resultant force. It is a force which will going to produce the same effect or change in the state of rest or of motion that has been produced by n number of forces acting on that body. I am doing what I am doing, if I am doing one body, n number of force लग रहे हैं एक इधर से एक इधर से एक ऊपर से एक नीचे से एक diagonally एक इधर से n number of force लग रहा है और वो कुछ effect produce कर रहा है उस body के अंदर तो जो resultant force होगा उसको मैं ऐसे define कर सकता हूँ कि अगर मैं वो n number के force को हटा कर केवल एक force लगाऊँ how much only a single force और वो भी वही effect produce करे जो n number of force मिलकर कर रहे थे तो जो single force जो मैंने लगाया वो क्या कहलाएगा resultant force for example, if there is a Almira and I am pushing this Almira with some force, but it is not getting pushed means it is not getting moved. So I tell my friends to help me and we three together pushed that Almira and it starts moving and it starts moving. So there is a effect which has been produced by three of us on that Almira. Now if I replace the three of my friends and I bring a muscular man and he will also going to push the Almira and will going to bring the same change that has been produced by three of us together then that force applied by that muscular man will be known as the resultant force. Resultant force ka matlab kuch nien sare forces ka kya result. Ye sare force jo effect produce kar rahe is body ke andar wo ek single force bhi kar sakta hai. To wo jo single force hai jo same effect produce kar raha hai jo sare mil kar kar raha hai. To single force ko kya bola hai mene resultant force aap idhar dekh sakta hai. 15 newton idhar laga, 5 newton idhar laga. To net force is pe kya raha hai idhar 10 newton ka. To wo 10 newton hi kya hai resultant force ko. Kya 10 newton ka effect wahi produce kar raha hai jo hai 15 aur 5 ke kar raha hai. Kaise? Is 15 aur 5 newton ke force ko tod sakta hai 5 newton aur 10 newton ke force mein. Kitne mein? 5 newton or 10 newton ke force. Agar mein dekhu ye 5 newton ka force is direction mein aur ye 5 newton ka force is ke opposite direction mein to balanced ho gai. To ye to koi effect hi produce nahi kar raha hai. Keval koon sa effect produce kar raha hai 10 newton ka force to I can replace these two force with the help of single force that will going to produce the same effect what these two were producing then thus this single force will be known as balanced force. To ye single force kya ban jayega mere liye balanced force ban jayega. I hope you have got the concept of well, uh, sorry, resultant force ban jaga. I hope you have got the concept of resultant force. Ab resultant force nikalte kaise hai? Question is, resultant force hota hai kya hai? Iski physical feel aapko a gai hai. How to calculate resultant force? So what is in our course are only two cases. And the cases are Let us say this is a block resting on a surface. If there is a force acting in this direction that is F1 and there is a force acting in this direction that is F2. Or if there is a force acting in this direction like this, this is F1 and there is a force acting in this direction like this, it is F2. Means if the direction of forces are opposite, see in this the force direction is this here is this, in this it is this side, it is this side, means the direction of forces, if the direction of forces are opposite, then resultant will be subtraction of the forces. Then the resultant will be subtraction of forces. What will be the resultant? It will be F1 minus F2. If F1 is greater than F2 or F2 minus F1 if F2 is greater than F1. 
अगर एफ टू बढ़ा है तो एफ टू माइनस एफ वन हो जाएगा और नेट फोर्स किस डायरेक्शन में आएगा एफ टू की डायरेक्शन में आएगा और अगर एफ वन बढ़ा है तो एफ वन माइनस एफ टू हो जाएगा और डायरेक्शन क्या रहेगी इसकी एफ वन की तरफ डायरेक्शन इन एफ वन डायरेक्शन एंड डायरेक्शन विल बी इन एफ टू डायरेक्शन जो बड़ा होगा उसकी डायरेक्शन के अंदर मेरे पास नेट फोर्स आएगा और जो नेट फोर्स आएगा अगर डायरेक्शन अपोजिट है तो क्या आ जाएगा इनका सब्ट्रैक्शन आ जाएगा क्या आ जाएगा सब्ट्रैक्शन आ जाएगा अगर मैं इसको अच्छे लेवल पे समझना चाहूँ तो मैं इसको ऐसे समझ सकता हूँ कि रिजल्टेंट तो होता है सम ऑफ फोर्सेस जो हमारे कोर्स में भी वो सम ही है ये किसी एंगल्स पे नहीं आएंगे हमेशा ऐसे ही आएंगे तो रिजल्टेंट इज सम ऑफ फोर्सेस तो मैं इसको ऐसे लिख सकता हूँ एफ वन प्लस एफ टू लेकिन एफ टू की अगर डायरेक्शन अपोजिट है तो मैं इसमें एक नेगेटिव साइन लगाऊंगा क्या लगाऊंगा नेगेटिव साइन तो ये जो आएगा ये आ जाएगा एफ वन माइनस एफ टू ओके अगर आपने थोड़े बहुत वेक्टर्स पढ़े हो अपनी जूनियर क्लासेस के अंदर तो आपको पता होगा कि अगर डायरेक्शन अपोजिट हो जाती है तो एक नेगेटिव साइन हम इंट्रोड्यूस करते हैं तो ये क्या हो जाएगा एफ वन माइनस एफ टू अदरवाइज यू कैन रिमेंबर इट लाइक दिस ओनली ओके नाउ इफ द डायरेक्शन ऑफ फोर्सेज आर सेम दिस इज अ बॉडी F1 is acting in this direction and F2 is acting in this direction. Then the resultant will be. This is what we have written is F resultant. Okay, so it will be F1 plus F2. It will be F1 plus F2 and direction. So both are same. So net direction will be what? It will be this. So this is my F resultant. and here it was like this okay ab inko merge karke hum ek naya case banaye to hamare paas ek general case type bhi aa jayega अगर एक फोर्स F1 इधर लग रहा है और F2 इधर लग रहा है तो रिजल्ट क्या आएगा F1 F2 अगर F1 बड़ा है और रिजल्टेंट किस साइड आएगा इस साइड आएगा और अगर एक फोर्स इधर लग रहा है और एक फोर्स इधर लग रहा है और मान लें कि F2 बड़ा है कौन सा बड़ा F2 तो रिजल्टेंट इस साइड आएगा और वो कितना आएगा F2 टू माइनस या इसमें F2 टू बड़ा है तो रिजल्टेंट इस साइड आएगा और वो कितना आ जाएगा F2 टू माइनस एफ यहाँ भी तो मैंने यही करा था 15 न्यूटन इधर लग रहा था पाँच न्यूटन इधर लग रहा था मीन फिफ्टी न्यूटन वॉज एक्टिंग फ्रॉम दिस साइड एंड फाइव न्यूटन वॉज एक्टिंग फ्रॉम दिस साइड दैन द रिजल्टेंट वॉज सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ फिफ्टीन वी विल गोइंग टू सब्ट्रैक्ट फ्रॉम बिगर वैल्यू so 15 minus 5 always remember subtract from bigger value so 15 is bigger it will be 15 minus 5 that is 10 newton and the direction of the force of the resultant the resultant force direction will be same as that of the bigger force the resultant direction of the force will be same as that of bigger force so i have written it if f1 is uh, greater then the direction is in f1 and if f2 is greater than direction is in f2 direction and i have subtracted from the bigger value the smaller value and if they are acting in same direction we will going to just add them and the direction will be same because they are in same direction now if there is a box and there are n number of forces uh, forces acting on it like this f1 or let us say two numbers of forces are acting f2 and there is one f3 so what will be the f resultant what will be the f resultant it will be see these two forces are acting in same direction so i will going to add them so it will be f1 plus f2 and this force is acting in opposite direction so i will going to subtract it from this directly you can write it like this or if you want you can solve it in by parts you can solve it by parts like this i will going to find out the result of these two it will be f1 plus f2 So I have replaced these two forces with a single force, and there is a F3 acting on this. Now these two forces are in opposite direction, so the result will be F1 plus F2 minus F3 equals to F. And I have assumed that F1 plus F2 is greater than F3, so the net direction of this force will be in this direction only, and it will be F1 plus F2 minus F3 because I have assumed that F1 plus F2 is greater than F3. I mean, I have assumed that F1 plus F2 is greater than F3. So I have assumed बट अगर F1 और F2 F3 से बड़ा नहीं है तो रिजल्टेंट की डायरेक्शन इधर हो जाएगी और जो आंसर आएगा वो आएगा F3 थ्री माइनस एफ वन प्लस एफ टू अब इफ यू वॉन्ट वी कैन डू अ क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो सो यू कैन हैव अ बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग देर इज
fridge like this and two of my friends were pushing uh, pushing this pushing this fridge from this side with help of their hands and they were applying 200 newton force one of my friend was applying 200 newton force and another was applying a 150 newton force how much 150 newton force and i standing on that side was applying a force of was applying a force of 250 newton how much 250 newton now calculate the resultant force calculate the Calculate the resultant force. Before calculating the resultant force, it is quite easy. I will going to do it in a minute. But let us go back. Balanced and unbalanced forces. Which type of forces? Balanced and unbalanced forces. Balanced forces were not produ uh, producing any change in its state of rest or of motion. Means they were balancing each other. You will be glad to know in balanced forces, the F resultant will be zero. Because net force will be zero as they are not producing any change in its state of rest or of uniform motion. So F resultant will be zero, then the n number of forces acting on that body will be balanced. And if the F resultant is not coming out to be zero, then they will be unbalanced. So you can write if if F resultant is zero then forces are balanced and if f resultant is not equals to zero then forces are unbalanced हमने देखा था पांच न्यूटन पांच न्यूटन दोनों तरफ से लगाया नेट फोर्स क्या हो गया फाइव माइनस फाइव दैट इज जीरो रिजल्टेंट फोर्स जीरो हो गया तो फोर्सेस कैसे थे बैलेंस थे और जब मैंने दस न्यूटन और पाँच न्यूटन लगाया था या कुछ और भी लगाया था तो वो अनबैलेंस थे क्योंकि एक तरफ का फोर्स ज़्यादा था एक्सीडिंग दिस फोर्स वाज एक्सीडिंग दिस साइड मींस एफ रिजल्ट वाज नॉट जीरो एंड हैंस दो फोर्सेज वर अनबैलेंस्ड तो रिजल्टेंट और बैलेंसड अनबैलेंस कंडीशन में भी हमारे पास एक रिलेशन आया नाउ लेट्स मूव टू दैट क्वेश्चन एंड सॉल्व इट टू न्यूटन इज एक्टिंग इन सॉरी 200 newton is acting in this direction and 150 newton in same direction and me is applying a force of 250 newton from that direction i have to calculate the resultant force i can go step by step the result of these two forces the result of these two forces will be 200 plus 150 that will be 350 newton and it is acting in this direction on this fridge okay and uh, 250 न्यूटन फोर्स इज एक्टिंग इन दिस डायरेक्शन दैट इज बीइंग अप्लाइड इन दोनों का पहले मैंने रिजल्टेंट निकाला जो सेम डायरेक्शन में था ये स्टेप बाय स्टेप करा f1 f2 f1 की वैल्यू क्या थी 200 f2 की वैल्यू क्या थी 150 तो नेट फोर्स कितना आ गया इस डायरेक्शन में 350 और उधर से कितना लग रहा है f3 250 इसी का ही मैंने न्यूमेरिकल अप्रोच देखी है मतलब विद नंबर्स आई हैव सीन दिस क्वेश्चन अब दोनों अपोजिट डायरेक्शन में लग रहे हैं और कौन सा बड़ा है मेरे पास 350 बड़ा है 250 से तो आई विल गोइंग टू सबट्रैक्ट 250 from 350, so 350 minus 250 will going to give me 100 newton. Will going to give me 100 newton. This is my F resultant. This is my F resultant. Or, अगर मैं diagram पे दिखाऊं, तो ये कुछ ऐसा आएगा. ये ऐसा है. और इधर की side लग रहा है क्योंकि साढ़े 300 बड़ा था, 250 से. तो जो net force है, it will be in the direction of the greater force. So it will be 100 newton acting on this direction. I hope you have got the concept of resultant force, balanced and unbalanced forces and the effects of forces, the definition of forces, the relation between SI unit and CGS unit of force. So thank you for today, we are going to continue in next lecture.